Cathay Pacific CEO Ronald Lamb has issued a letter to all staff members explaining why the management fired three flight attendants accused of making discriminatory comments about passengers. He said the move is aimed at protecting the company and the well-being of staff members. Sharon Tang reports. More action taken by the Cathay Pacific management over comments made by air crew members about non-English speaking passengers during a recent flight from Chengdu to Hong Kong. In an internal message written by Ronald Lam, the CEO said the incident has caused significant damage to the image of Hong Kong and Cathay and the company must act swiftly. He reminded all staff members have the duty to make customers feel respected and valued regardless of their backgrounds. Lam added the inappropriate comments made by the three crew members have reflected unfairly on the professionalism that the rest of Cathay has been upholding. He also said the incident has reinforced a perception held by some customers that Cathay has not been able to provide quality service to customers consistently. In other words, they believe this is about more than this single incident, but it's something much deeper which we need to address, he added. Meanwhile, Cathay's Flight Attendants Union has expressed regret towards the sacking of the three colleagues. It also said colleagues are now living under fear following online calls to taunt and film air crew members in flight. Addressing that issue, Cathay said it does not accept the union's stance, adding that it does not represent Cathay, but it will communicate with staff members directly. And there are also some comments saying the flight attendants in question were only making the comments in private instead of saying it directly towards customers. That, as the recording that went viral online is believed to have taken place when the air crew members were chatting at the galley during the flight. The Equal Opportunities Commission said today that too constitutes discrimination. Chairman of the commission, Ricky Chu, said whether the comments were directly spoken to a customer may not be a factor. That's because the comments were heard by the public that essentially is an unwelcoming environment which may also fall into the scope of hurting or harassing. Sharon Tang, TVB News.